Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to some Madden Mobile. Uh, it's been a little bit since we played some uh, Madden, so uh, we'll get into this game. Uh, we're going to do the uh, coin up uh, live event at least one more time. So we have only nine stamina left, and then we'll do uh, a game, and then probably do some head-to-head uh, head -head drives. And maybe we'll go into the, uh, uh, our, we're not going to go to the auction block yet. Uh, I'm still waiting to hit 70,000 coins so I can go out and buy myself a uh, legend pack. So um, I need uh, I need to get my team a little bit more uh, beefy, if you know what I mean. So basically, we gotta keep the uh, Eagles from scoring, and it's basically that's our objective. But we'll you know if we get the ball back, I guess, and we'll do some shit on some offense. Um, I had a pretty crazy uh, moment earlier. Uh, Marcus Sherrill's one of my kick returners, like low 50s, man. This guy is like a bronze player. He's just not very fast. I mean, it seems like his sprinting is more of like us walking. He's that slow. Um, and there is a live event to kick, uh, to do like, you have to get like 79 kick return yards and like less than like five attempts or whatever it is. But he ran a 73 yard kick return, breaking like multiple tackles. I wish I got it on recording, guys. It was pretty sweet. Um, hopefully, maybe before I, I send him to the auction block or send him on his way, we can see if he can do another one of those uh, crazy-ass kick returns. It was pretty insane, dude. It was it was nuts. So uh, Nice little run there by Sean McCoy, getting a first down. Pressure in the Eagles to take a timeout. Uh, I don't know why I'm passing, but I guess I am. I could change the play, but uh, it's all right. Feels alright to me. Um, I just don't know where to go here. Oh, we'll get Kenny Britt on a little slant route there. Nice catch by him. That's a touchdown for us. So now we're up by nine. Hopefully, gonna be up by ten. I'm getting a lot better at kicking field goals too. Uh, before I started recording, I kicked a couple, um, couple pretty, pretty good long, uh, pretty good long kicks. Uh, one of them had to be at least thirty. Two, maybe 35 yards, so that's pretty good for my kicker. He's only a bronze guy, so and he made it pretty good. Uh, so I'm thinking probably 36 might be his limit in the 36 area. Uh, 40 is way too long. That's basically just going to end up in the end zone. Uh, so I think 30, 36 might be his his his, his longest he, he can do. So, um, so I, I went out and I picked up uh, Madden 17, and wow, that was crazy i picked up madden 17 um unfortunately i gotta take it back so i haven't even played it yet it kind of sucks but you know when you're strapped for cash you're strapped for cash you gotta do what you gotta do so i went out and bought it and, and can't play it so now we're going to move this guy over here and we're going to play some uh a game let's see we already got a game started here 21 to 7 uh sorry guys 12 seconds so the first season this i'm sorry this is the second season we're in now the first game i should say um was against the vikings and my god um i don't know if the game gets harder as you progress through the seasons but the vikings put up a fucking effort dude they were um it wasn't a high scoring game it was only like seven to nothing they beat me seven to nothing but dude i could not even get a drive on them like without someone pressuring me and sacking me and you know stopping the run like a yard shy or a yard short or whatever it was insane like they were just straight up just doing anything they could think of to stop me from scoring any scores and I give them props because they were playing really hard you know I know this is just you know it's just a game but that was pretty intense I mean, in that first game I got a little annoyed because last season, I when I played, I barely got scored on. Let alone, I didn't lose any game at all last season. And so this season, the first game I play is against the Vikings, a team that I hate. And I mean, I hate them. They beat me 7 nothing, So, But it was a good game. It was a really hard-fought win for the Vikings and kind of a, a slow start to our season. But we're already off to a pretty good start now. We won the last game, and here's Marcus Sherrills, and he gets taken down to about the 23-yard line. Like I say, guys, he was he showed some uh, some ridiculous uh, maneuvering earlier. I was 
very surprised about how he went through like five or six guys before they can even tackle him down. It was it was pretty pretty crazy to to see. And look at this, this McCoy making some moves there. Just keep swiping up, keep swiping up the screen, man. That dude will just break anything. No matter. And also, if you guys can see, I got Jared Goff now as my quarterback. Um, he's got a lot better accuracy than uh, the Davis, the original guy I had. Um, I don't see a whole lot difference with uh, his, uh, his arm, though. I think it's the same. They got the same arm strength, but his uh, accuracy is definitely improved over Davis's. So I'm just keep running with Sean McCoy because it's so fun. You know, you never know when you can just break out for a loose one. There it is. Up the sideline. Touchdown, dude. See how, how I did that, guys? I drew all the guys over, and I juked them out and ran to the side. Pretty classic play call right there. Just trying to get a couple of yards. We get a touchdown instead. And the kick is up, and it is good. See, I've been getting a little better at kicking. Taking my time. Oh, I didn't even know inside it. Whoops. Oh, well, let's go for it. See if we can get it. No, of course not. That was a stupid fucking play. All right. So we're going to try to... Oh, never mind. Oh, my God. Oh, who the fuck is this? Elliot. Who the fuck is Elliot? Dude just smoked me. So, all you Cowboy fans out there, um, are you surprised or not surprised about Tony Romo's little injury he had during uh, the preseason game? If you ask me, I'm not surprised at all. The dude is like an injured, he's like a guy who gets injured every fucking season. There's always some kind of injury that keeps him out for a good, you know, month, two months, or even the season, you know. It's just, that's Tony Romo. That's the... That's um, the chances you guys take of keeping an older guy like him around. Okay, listen, this is this is me talking to all you cowboy fans, and if and even if it ever reached out to Jerry Jones, get rid of Tony Romo. The dude is not gonna win you a Super Bowl. He's not gonna win the division. The dude cannot play football, and yet he keeps getting injured. And they keep keeping him. They keep signing him. Dude, the guy. Is trash. He's garbage. He's oh, he's a he's a has been. This guy, this new kid, Dak Prescott. That is your guy's star. You need to build off of him. You need to give him the ball. And 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 you know, and I know the arc is the first two months are gonna be him. He's gonna start this shit, and I guarantee you, he's gonna fucking make some shit happen, dude. Him and Des Bryant were almost electric during that preseason game, where he just kept throwing the ball up. Des would catch the ball. I mean, they were making some great fucking plays. Dak Prescott is your guy. Tony Romo needs to be cut, released, or whatever he needs to do. Retire. I don't give a fuck. Just get off the damn roster, dude. The dude's not good. He, he's never been good. Never. Dallas Cowboys will never win another Super Bowl with Tony Romo. Yo. Yo, uh, throwing the ball. That was a pretty stupid sack right there. I threw the ball to Sean McCoy, but it didn't register. So, this one will, though. That's all right. That's right. Like I don't need to be, I don't need to be like a douche and whatnot. I hate the Cowboys. I hate them so much. America's favorite team? Yeah, bullshit. Not even close. I call them the Dallas Cowgirls. They're a bunch of girls. But like I said, I mean they, they uh, they used to be one of the best teams, you know. Roger Staubach, freaking. Uh, Fuck, I can't remember who else played for the fucking team. It's a team that I'm not really familiar with. Um, but, yeah. So. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, Troy Aikman, too. I guess I can't forget about Troy Aikman, can I? Even though the dude's a cocksucking. Cocksucker. <laughs> All right. So we're trying to sack, get a sack here with Jones. And we are going to get a sack with Don Tone Jones. We can't wait for the Packers season, man. This is going to be sweet. 
if y'all ain't happy about the Packers season this year, y'all need just need to get a life. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are you guys are NFL fans. You guys like any, you can like any team in the world, any team in the world, y'all. But you still love the Packers because the fact that they're bringing back Jordy Nelson. If they play the cards right, they're definitely going to be super. Not I don't know about Super Bowl bound. I mean, they could be, but I'm just I could just be talking on my ass there. But they're definitely going to be playoff bound, and they're definitely going to take take the division this year because especially if they can keep Nelson healthy, you know, don't. Get him hurt. Don't be playing with him stupid like, you know, get him, you know, I don't know. But just don't get him hurt. Because <laughs> he waited all last year and parts of this year for him to come back. He's back now. So don't freaking get him hurt. Or you piss. I keep taking these stupid sacks. But you know me, I'm going to go for it. I'm smart. Dude, bro, he bit the coverage. He bit the coverage. <clears throat> All right, sorry guys, I'm gonna stretch there. All right, come on. Yeah, this guy Elliot. He blew through us the first run he did, but now he's just going to get stopped. In his tracks. Man, she been an interception. She went back for six. Look at that, dude. Terrible throws. Is this, that, that really the guy you guys want, Cowboys? The dude sucks. Absolutely terrible. Tony Homo is what I call him. Oh, dude, the coverage is terrible for the Cowboys. Secondary sucks. How did I catch that ball? Explain it to me. How did I catch that ball? Another good throw by Jared Goff. This dude's actually proven to be pretty good. He might stick around for a little bit. He's doing some work. Kicks good. So far, we're up 17 and 7, guys. We're having a pretty good game today. Jared Goff's making some great plays. LaShawn McCoy's got a decent running game going. Um, he had to get a big touchdown early in the game. Uh, I kind of haven't really been running with him, though, the last couple drives. So, uh, defense is playing pretty well. We're keeping him uh, from scoring. And, oh, I almost got a tackle there. A big tackle. And, oh, here goes Elliott again. Elliott's running the field. And Elliot's going to be gone. This guy has got some speed, man. Oh, my gosh. Wow. To tell you guys, it's like, 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 what the hell, man? Like, is it, is, it, is, it, is it harder? Like, it feels like it's harder, which is good. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's not it's supposed to be easy. You know, they're not supposed to go through the, the season and be like, oh, it's so easy. Oh, I went the wrong, the wrong coverage here. I mean, the wrong kick, kick return. Oh, it's on second return. It's going to be a... I guess I, I, I guess I get it. But Cheryl's like, I have any blockers up there. They improvise. <laughs> Down to the 10-yard line, which sucks. So let's give it the ball to Sean McCoy and let him run it out a little bit here. If I get some good blocking, the dude just, like, came off the guy's block. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. <laughs> the 40 to the 35-yard line. 
That's pretty good. That was a good run. Uh, if there wasn't, if there was any more guys around me, I probably would have bro bro broke the tackle. All right, here we go. Come on, go on outside. Get to the outside. Get first down. Keep the clock moving. Make them waste all the timeouts. Terrible. I keep getting stuck behind my guy. Sorry, I, last yesterday I was working and I, I cut my thumb open, so I'm not really using my thumb right now. I'm using my index finger to run the ball. Easy score right there. Yeah, I was cutting to I was cutting onions at I work for uh, work for Bass Pro Shops. I'm one of the line cooks over at the restaurant there. Uh, call Uncle Bucks. If you guys ever tried before? If you guys have a Bass Pro Shops and where you live, go to Uncle Bucks. They got really good food, really good service. I mean, the one I work at has got great service and great food. I don't mess with the other ones, dude. But we cook everything from uh, you know burgers, steaks, uh, chicken sandwiches. Um, we even cook kind of weird items like alligator. We got catfish, we got hokey, which is another form, of, you know, another fish. We got salmon. We got a whole bunch of stuff over there. So y'all, if y'all have a Bass Pro Shops over in where you live, and you have a Uncle Buck's over there, definitely check them out. They're a little, they're a little on the expensive side, but they got some deals where you can get, you know, some entrees for, you know, you know, kind of cheap. But you know, they are kind of expensive because it's a higher, you know, higher grade restaurant. But great food, and it's really fun to work for. But anyways, I was cutting some onions yesterday, some red, red onions, which I love to eat, but I hate to cut. So you start getting into that bad boy, start cutting it up. A minute later, you're you're balling your eyes out. It sucks. So um, if you guys have ever cut to cut on onions before, you would know that red onions are the worst. So, but anyways, I was cutting some onions up yesterday. And just happened to slice my thumb open. Didn't even know about it until like I saw blood. And I was like, oh, wait, I cut my thumb open. And so, yeah. So, yep. Those are kind of fun things that happen when you work for a kitchen. Look at that, man. Look at that. Just plowing right through them, dude. Well, guys, I could say that I beat the Cowboys. 31 to 14 so far. With 30 seconds left in the game, they wasted all our timeouts. So I kept running the ball, you know, force them to take them out. So that's what you do in the NFL, man. It's clock management. The only way they can come back is if they can get on the field less than 10 seconds and do an onside kick, which they can't because he gets sacked. And he's throwing stupid plays like that. I mean, he could definitely throw an interception right now. That would laugh my ass off. Oh, we got a completion to Jason. Jason Quinton. <laughs> I said Jason Quinton because he sucks. Keep throwing those balls, Romo. It's a kick in our field goal. So this is about um, let's see, about a thirty. Two yarder, maybe three, four yarder. Let's see if we can get it here. Uh, I would have gotten it if I didn't kick it stupid. Like, but you see, guys, like he's got power for that kind of field goal. But like when you start getting up to like the forty yard field goals, which is like your average, like every kicker in the NFL can kick a forty yard field goal. It just depends on how accurate they are. But the power wise, they 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 can all kick it. Shit, I think everyone in the NFL should be able to kick at least a fifty yarder. But of course, this is just a game, so this isn't actual people. I'm not actually controlling lots of people, if you guys haven't noticed yet. This is all computer generated, so it's just basically a stat system. You know, what, how the player did last season. And me, in my eyes, they should have a. Oh, 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 that was tight, dude! That was sick! It's like either he dropped it, it was cool that I recorded this so I could go back and watch it. But either he dropped it, or my guy just stuck his hand in there because I kept swiping on the screen. Took his hand in there and blocked it out because that would that would have been a big catch. Even though the time went right now and they have no more timeouts and they're down by 
two touchdowns. Still, that would have been a nice catch. And he probably would have broke the interception. Probably the interception. Probably would have broke for a touchdown because my guy went to dive out of the end zone. I mean, out of the out of the field. Sorry, that was awesome. Let's put it that way. It's a good game. Uh, Thirty-one to fourteen. I definitely scored a crap out of him, so that's pretty good. Um, let's see how what yard is that kick off the field goal was that was. It was a forty yard field goal. So he so I guess forty yards is probably what he would have what what he can do. So let's see here what our game stats were. Basically everything was in my favor except for the uh, kick return yards where they had a hundred four. Um yeah, decent running game today, 191 yards. Uh, passing game was pretty solid, 182 yards. We had four touchdowns. We had zero turnovers, so I think today was a pretty good game. All right, so we do have three more stamina that we can play another game. But let's go see what kind of sets we have here to complete. So Vaughn Miller. I was looking to get Antonio Brown though. And I need two more to get him. Oh, wait, nope, I got him right here. There we go. Say I want to get An An Antonio Brown, man. Dude's a beast. I guess I could go for Rob Gronkowski too. Who else you have after that? Todd Gurley. Yeah, I like LaShawn McCoy. I don't like Todd Gurley. He's got a weird voice. It's like, ee, 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 ee. it's kind of weird. I'm not saying he's weird though. He's a cool dude. Just kind of weird. No. So for Giants, I don't want Giants. Let's see if I can get the Packers. Ah, Eagles again. Stupid. Alright. We got these. Game time. So that one. Because I could do these too. Hmm. Nobody got there. Okay, so we have 58,000. Let's see if we have any um, quick sales we can do here. Oh, I have two Antonio Browns. These are all post game and stuff. So I finally got the post game stuff done. The post game with a quick sell. Okay, so let's go back to our. Uh, Sorry, let's pick our sets real quick. So we got a pro pack now. Terrence Williams.
So we got another new receiver. Which we don't need a receiver. We need like other guys. Like um like you know, like special team guys. We need them. Uh let's go to auctions. Let's go to sell. So we have here to sell. So we already have Todd, Todd Gurley too, so I don't know, I'll, I'll go for him. I know I had those guys already. No set masters. Okay, so there's a quick sell. Can't sell that guy. Yeah, quite a bit of quick sales there. About a thousand coins. Like, can you just go on box block? Like, no. Okay. I don't think anything like that go on the box block. Okay. All right. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna auction off all these lower guys. Uh, here we'll set it for a hundred and we'll do a thousand. Let's get them out of my, oh. Can I just say that I love the auction block now? I can just do that. Instead of, you know, instead of that and keep just swiping it, you just tap on them. So these guys right here will go 500. I'm not a guy who priced myself too high. I'm actually pretty reasonable. It depends on the on the player and on the card. All you guys are here, we're going for 500 a piece, starting bid. And then now we'll go up to a thousand. So we're going to the gold guys. And we'll do 2,000 by now. And we'll get rid of one of these guys. Uh, oh, one of them can't be auctioned off. He can't be auctioned off. So basically, if he can't be auctioned, block, auctioned off, we're just going to sell him then. So we don't need him. Here you have one of them. Okay, so there's that. So now we're only 4,000 away from uh, getting our... Um, our legend pack. So we'll play another game real quick, guys. Actually, you know what? We're actually looking about to run out of time here. So um, I will. Um, I'll pick this back up in another video. If you guys want to see anything else, anything besides Madden, uh, let me know. Uh, unfortunately, I can't record off any consoles right now. I don't have my PS4 with me, so that's kind of a no-brainer. I do apologize. But if you guys want to see anything else, let me know. I will see you guys in the next episode. Y'all have a good one. Uh, enjoy the weekend coming up, I guess. Um, so excited for football. If you guys are too, smash a like. If you guys like the Madden Mobile videos, smash a like. Let me know, guys. All right, y'all. Peace out.